Tammy says, what is a good email system? Constant contact, MailChimp, et cetera, so many out there. I have used MailChimp. I have used uh, sendbird.app. The one that I love, though, is ConvertKit. And I have an affiliate link for that that um, I can post in the group, uh, bloggingsuccessfully.com forward slash ConvertKit. And I forget what it gets you, if it's a discount or a free month or something. But if you use that link, there is a benefit involved if you want to try ConvertKit out. The reason that I like ConvertKit, a lot of the email service providers. So let me back up here for a second. If you're new to this, if you're new to business, it is illegal for you to email mass amounts of people from your personal email, especially if it's like a Gmail account. OK, so you can't just import your list of 50 people and send one email to all those 50 from your Gmail account. That's it's illegal. Um, you need to send it from a, a an approved email service provider. And this is someone who is in the business of doing these mass emails for businesses. And part of doing that, how that make how you make that legal is that they have gone through and made sure all their systems and processes match the federal regulations for this type of mailing. And there are certain things required in there, like every email has to have an unsubscribe option on it. Every email has to have your business address on it, like that kind of thing. There's certain things you have to do for that. So once you have that email system, MailChimp has something that if you opt in for one list, then you and then they opt in for another list. It's counted as two people and you pay by how many people are on your list. ConvertKit. I can have one person opt in and I'm only paying for that one person, even if they're on five different lists. OK, so that's why I like ConvertKit. ConvertKit also has a ton of features that allow you to tag them. So like when you opted in, um, when you opted in for this class, I was able to tag you as, as doing business with God Masterclass. Right. And then uh, if if you clicked on the link that I sent out right before this call, I was able to tag you as this person clicked the link. They they opened the link or they they active they attended session one, right? And so I know that if if you attended session one, then that message that I send to you this afternoon may be a little different than the people who didn't click at all and didn't see session one yet. Right. And so I'm able to customize how I serve you within my email because I can put those different tags and things in there. And ConvertKit has a ton of features that let you do a lot of cool stuff with that. MailerLite, Teresa says MailerLite is free to a thousand subscribers. MailChimp, I think, is may or may not be free. It used to be free to a thousand, I think, but I'm not sure if they changed that. There's so many out there. And again, uh, some of them work well, some of them don't work well, depending on you and how you learn and how you like to do things. Um, MailChimp was difficult for me to figure out, and they've upgraded a lot of stuff since I was with MailChimp back five years ago. Um, but ConvertKit was a lot more user friendly for me. Uh, but I've got a client who struggles with ConvertKit and she does better with something else. So you, some of it is is learning. And so it's really good to get in there and learn when you only have a couple hundred people on your list. Um, so that you can grow and be confident in what you're doing when your when your list grows bigger. Kay Helm says, I'll be looking for that convert kit link. I've been considering them. Yeah. Again, I'll type it in later. I can't type it in from here, but it's blogging successfully.com forward slash convert kit. All one word. Um, 